Hello, welcome back to another video everybody, this is Vilgity Observer, and this week I am planning on drawing Freerin, I believe that's how it's pronounced, her name. So this is a show on Netflix, I finished it like a week and a half ago, I think it was episode 14. Yeah, uh, I don't know if it's the end of the season or I'm supposed to like th with the thing with anime it could be like a mid-season ending thing and it would be continued again in a couple of months. It's sometimes Japanese anime they do that, right? But let's start here. Uh, I don't really know if she will be in a pose or anything like that, but let's start. Okay, so the canvas is this big, and her face, her face is quite, well not quite, it's perfectly symmetrical. Whatever hairstyle she's got going on in the center, I mean on the left, it will be the exact same on the right. And it's also the case with clothes so I don't know if we'll ever get down far enough below the neck but that's one thing we can be relieved about at least with drawing her because she'll be completely symmetrical which should make it easy enough And as you can see, I'm getting straight into it. What is this? Okay. Uh, no sketch. Straight into the drawing. And I guess you can call this one one of my spontaneous ones where I just start to draw and I just don't stop. these things and I'm not trying to copy perfectly the reference picture um, it's more like just a guideline for me to know what kind of hair thingies are going on on her head in fact, I might delete this part. Hang on. Delete this. There. So it's going like this now. Delete this part too. Okay. Uh, I guess eyebrows could be here. And she's got these very thick but short eyebrows. Mm, I guess the top of her head could be like somewhere here. I think this is called the auto shape tool in Procreate now. The thing I like about Procreate is it can do that, the auto shape thing. It makes it so much faster. Let's make a couple more strands branch out from this one. I think I just hit undo there by mistake. Okay, so. Okay. And this will be quite line art heavy, if not line art completely.
because I'm not really able to make full paintings using just big chunky brushes from start to finish spontaneously not yet at least I can only do it if I'm using inky looking brushes like this one Okay, uh, Chin. Chin could be... Hang on. This could be the Chin. Uh, let's make a... Guideline. Okay, let's keep it there. Let's see if we can... Duplicate this, copy and paste, and then flip horizontal. Merge it together, and then we can thicken this part. Just to make it look somewhat uneven. Uh, I think this part can straight up go into the ears. So ears start here. And whenever I draw using inky brushes on Procreate, I like to just Make sure that the lines just sort of not break because it makes it easier later if I'd be coloring it at least I do it that way for commissions you know where people ask me to draw inky like this which is very useful uh, for anime style drawings it's not the only way to do it but it's a faster way of doing it Let's see if uh, it's not it's not too big on one side, so that's good. Okay. So we'll delete this part. So it's okay to be quite surgical when doing the line art. Because the thing with line art heavy drawings, you won't have to worry about the colors much later. Because your drawing is fully supported by your line art being good. So, human ears have this shape to them so I'm just going to assume elven ears have it too but it's just bigger okay so it goes like that should be down here. Is the ear hole here? Okay. 
Uh, the head is looking somewhat large. <laughs> okay, I just did a straight line there. I think it looks good, but it's off by a few pixels, so I think there it looks good now. So let's delete, erase, not delete. Extra bit. Oh, you know what? I can. I think this is okay too. Okay. So since this is quite a simplistic subject, I'm going to take the liberty of just flourishing it excessively, somewhat, just by adding detail even though the original cartoon character is not all that detailed right so it would include extra lines like this Anime noses. Um, I wonder how I should do it. Because with anime drawings, you could make do a lot of the time by just doing like a dot for the nose. I'm not quite happy with this extra one, this line here. So, make that go away. Okay. So, this is going to be the middle part. Um, let's go ahead and give her a few loose trans here. Because nothing is ever perfect. Okay. Okay, now this is better. this part that's interrupting this one hair strand there uh So this is her collar. I believe she's just got this one strap going to the side with a crystal ball on it. And it just like a one-way not a one-way anything it's like a leather jacket so long neck at least my free run right here I feel like giving her a long neck Okay, 
the anime one is sort of a midget, right? But let's give her a long neck this time. In fact, everybody is uh, short in the anime. I guess it's just... It's theme. Oh, I forgot. She's got earrings. Oops. Okay, let's do that again. Let's just give it... Like a metallic... Don't even know what you can call that. Like a butt? On the earring? Okay, so... This metallic bit right here and it continues... Oh, you know what? I don't want to end up making a... This too big on one side or too small. So let's just... make it really no 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 let's keep it straight let's keep it straight but then flourish it some more So, let's give this crystal ball heel here some detail. Okay. Some of these lines can help indicate the shape of objects. And it can also, without even trying, all you're trying to do, I mean, if all I'm, all I'm trying to do is trying to suggest the shapes of things, right? How this right here, this part of the collar is tubular in shape, hence the tubular markings. This is like a technique that you can use for ink drawings. Because you can't exactly get anything, not 100% opacity, right? With ink, it's either black or white so this is uh, what you can do to indicate the shape of things but also the one other thing it can help you achieve is the look that whatever you are drawing is sort of worn down because if you look at it closely this very easily can seem like cuts and creases in the material, right? So for people who are just, for artists who are into just flourishing these uh, ink drawings. I'll give you a good example from the comic Berserk or Zatman here. It's called this. Zatman and Berserk. It can end up making the well everything look somewhat cut or broken 
and even more prominent in this uh, manga. Dorohedoro. Everything in this one comic looks dirty because it's just so busy, packed with these, what I call like flourishes, decorations. It's fine to not do this as much. So you can end up with a more pristine looking drawing. But this adds a lot of detail, which is nice. Because if I do this, then I won't have to work on the colors as much. Like think about it as much. So I think now what we can do is add some more hair in the back. Like this. Like this. Let's go ahead and make this one black. It's quite okay. Even though this, uh, she's got like white silvery hair, right? But in ink drawings, it's somewhat. It's a combination of overlooked and it just makes sense because there's nothing else you can do to indicate shadows more shaded parts of the same thing and it continues down here but before we continue drawing that I think we could add shoulders Okay, uh... Let's not worry too much about the whatever is on the shoulders. I won't even illustrate it. I think I'll just end it right here. So hair goes here again. Some of it goes right here in the back. Like this. I hope is this this is easy enough for whoever is following. Should be easy enough to follow along. Uh, okay. Let's get rid of this part. Okay should look like that now. Mm, 
this part should be deleted, erased, not deleted. These two will join together. All I'm doing is trying to make sure I'm drawing this as if I'm not going to be coloring it, which should always make good um, line art style drawings. So wherever I can, um, I'll just add black. Wherever I think there's going to be shadow. Okay. Time to erase this part that is interrupting her hair. So it's going to go like this now. And darken this. No, actually, it's not a good idea to do it there. A little bit over here is okay, I think. There. So we can do the rest here in the back. Just make this part dark. Because this is going behind her shoulders. So in the space between her shoulders, I mean, <laughs> the space between her hair and her one shoulder is going to be dark, right? But this one big lock of hair is going in front of her shoulder. So that one is not shaded with black. Okay, so time for the face. Are we still on the same layer? Oh, let's just merge that together. Uh, okay, time for the face. Now, I think we can start with the nose. Or I could just do the nostrils, maybe. It looks kind of weird. This is a more realistic looking nose, but I think even though it, it works, let's just go with the anime-like nose. So, just like a black dot. We could even delete this one. Yeah, <laughs> it works, see? Okay, could be even smaller there.
Okay, so she's got that sort of thousand yard stare. But let's make her smile. And do the eyes up here. Kind of too childlike, actually. But let's see what happens. So, do the other eye. Oops. Okay. Uh, let's be quite bold here <laughs> with giving her Spongebob style eyelashes so let's start doing that no I think we can start making it thick here Okay. Oops. I think we can block this one in just like that. A little pixel there exposed. And we can block this one in. Okay, clean it up. Now let's give her cleaner looking eyelashes. Or we could even delete that later if necessary. I think she's got these sideways ones. It's just the way the artist, I guess, likes to draw it. Um, eyelid. Let's add an extra wrinkle on that eyelid. Another wrinkle. Okay. The lower lip. That's good. So let's just merge that down here. Uh, okay, this is nice. Duplicate this. <laughs> that was a secret, by the way. Don't tell anyone. Let's merge it. Turn the opacity down so I know which parts are going too much. I mean, which ones are overlapping. Okay, delete this. Don't tell anyone, okay? It's a secret. Uh, 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 delete, delete. Turn the opacity back up. Huh, this is actually quite nice. 
Let's make another duplicate though. Let's see if it looks good. Like this. Yeah, it looks quite nice. So what I'm doing is erasing out the bottom to give give it the impression that she's smiling with her eyes. Uh, okay, I think now I can add the actual lower eyelid, like this. Okay, um, I think we are good. There. And I'll just go ahead and erase this. So I guess this is a portrait video this week. So I think now we can merge this together. Or, or not, um, if I were to want to keep this one. So I think I should just duplicate and then merge these two together. And then these two can go into another folder called original. And then let's disable that. So I set this as the reference layer. And what I can do now is just color drop and fill it in easy like that. Although I think there's a, like some parts of the hair that's going into the face shape. I wonder where. Hmm. So this is the face. Oh, I think it's here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, hang on. Okay, so I can see the whole thing now. There. That's much better. Continue filling. I just tap here and there. Here, here, here. Here. Oops. Yeah, that one I have to do again later. Okay. Fill this in. So you can see what I mean, right? By being able to easily color it but this part here is okay so it wasn't thick enough so i couldn't color drop let's do it again oops huh i wonder if there's another part that's spilling into the everywhere else. Hmm. Oh, I see. I drew on that layer. Okay. It's disable. So anyway, you can see how easy it is to color. If I have clean outlines, I'll do it again. So let's take her uh, face color, but I think it will be easier if I gave you a gray background. Here, like that, see? It's very easy. You just have to fill these things in one by one. Um, 
So I'll go ahead and do that. Hang on. It's like a teal colored, teal colored eyes. I'll go ahead and do that and tidy up. And once I'm done, I'll show you, okay? But thank you very much for watching. That would be my portrait doodle of Freerun. I think it was called Beyond Journeys and it's on Netflix. You can go ahead and watch it there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that was easy enough for you to follow along and try it yourself. Uh, let me know how it turns out. And if you've got any questions, feel free to comment down below so I can uh, answer you to the best of my ability. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.